Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Canon T70. It came out in 1984. It was their second in the T-series after 1983's T50. I expected not to like this camera much after reading about the T50, which was program auto exposure only. A lot like the EOS 750 that I reviewed. I was wrong. I like it a lot. It is an odd creature though. Turning it on selects the metering, uh, center weighted averaging, or partial, which is spot-ish. It uses the center 11% uh, of what you can see in the viewfinder. You only get auto exposure lock if you're using that partial slash center mode. Over here it has a battery check, it runs on double A's, so that's a really nice feature. Uh, the ISO button. You hold it and then step up and down through the values. Does not read DX encoded film. It goes from ISO 12 to 1600. The controls are a lot like the Maxim 7000 that came out not long after this. Um, you select what you want to do and then you step up and down through the values. Um, the modes, it has program where the camera picks the shutter speed and the aperture. Uh, program Tele, which favors a wider aperture and a faster shutter, and Wide, which is the opposite, uh, smaller aperture and a slower shutter. Uh, it's shutter priority, like most of these old Canons, and in the program modes, it will shift up and down to get the shot. It blinks uh, your aperture in the viewfinder a slow blink to let you know it's done the shift and a fast blink if it just can't get the exposure. Um, this ring around this front button uh, will defeat that so that it doesn't shift the shutter. You can tell it shut up and use the shutter I selected. This button in the middle um, is exposure lock. It does exactly the same thing as a half press on the shutter button. It does Program flash auto exposure if you're using a dedicated flash like this uh, 277T. An infrared emitter here uh, checks the distance, sets your aperture in the camera, and sets your shutter value to a 90th of a second. There was a slightly lesser one of these. It wouldn't select all the apertures. It would just choose from three. And if you're using a non-Canon dedicated flash, um, it sets the shutter to uh, sync at a 60th. To set it to manual, you set the mode to shutter priority, and then you take the lens off of the A setting. So any aperture except A, and you're in full manual mode. It can do stop down auto exposure metering with a non coupled lens. So an FD lens would have to be on a bellows extension or you know, a macro tube or something like that. Or any other lens adapted, it'll do uh, stop-down metering. It has a uh, vertically traveling metal shutter. Does two seconds to a thousandth of a second uh, plus bulb. Bulb is interesting. It'll go to two minutes and it counts the seconds with the same digits it uses to show you uh, the frame count and then it uses the little film transport there are three kind of underscore characters and each one of those represents 30 seconds so it'll do bulb to two minutes it's a proprietary uh, shutter release cord so I don't have that so to do bulb pretty much set it to the self timer and then hit the shutter button so that you're hands off uh, when it does the picture. It's motorized film transport completely. There's obviously no wind. Uh, it loads and advances the film automatically. To rewind, it's motorized, but you have to initiate it with this switch and this button on the bottom. It will do continuous shooting. It's 0.7 frames per second. You just hold the shutter button and it'll blast away until you're out of film. In the viewfinder, you get a split image, and then the micro prism, and then the background is the uh, matte glass. So you can use any of those for focusing aids. And down the right has an M if you're in full manual mode, 
P for program mode has a little asterisk if it's got uh, auto exposure lock on. Uh, there's a little lightning bolt uh, for flash ready, and then it shows you your f-stop. In manual, it'll always display your shutter speed uh, in, on the LCD on the top deck. In program mode, it only shows it to you for uh, while you're half-pressed. It'll leave it there for about a second. This is a pretty nice kit. Um, let's get the FD50 1.4. Uh, this Kepcor, nice little walking around zoom, 35 to 70. It's f3.5 and f4.5, I think. And this nice long Vivitar zoom. It uses the old school push pull. Goes from 75 to 250. It's a nice lens. Some of these old Vivitars are pretty sweet. A couple of things that are sort of downside. You know, the shutter release cable. Um, it doesn't do mirror lockup. Using the self timer, that's not that big of a deal. Can't do multiple exposures. Um, there's no dedicated exposure compensation, although the ISO settings are in third stop steps. So, really, you have it. You just got to fool it with the film speed. Doesn't have everything I want, but it's got most of the things I want. So, this is a really nice, easy to use camera. It's small, but it's solid. It's about two pounds. I borrowed this uh, from a buddy of mine, so thank you very much, Ron. I really enjoyed shooting with this. So I'm probably gonna blast another roll or two through this guy, and I'll see you then.